Hello and welcome to Saints View on this channel. Today I'm outside. The sun is trying to go down some. I have to put some treatment on this grass because I have not done it in almost a year and a half. This year will make a year and a half. Went by Walmart and bought some of their products to go on the grass. I bought this weed killer, this spray, and when I put it down, I tell you no lie, it starts very quickly. And not only does it start very quickly, it also gets the job done and it will last a few months. So it's really worth the money. And when I bought it last year, I bought it off season. I think it was like $5 or so. We're gonna go ahead and put some on this grass so we can get it popping for the summertime. We may be stuck in the house, but that's our usual anyway. We don't go nowhere. We don't do anything. And this breeze feels really good today. I'm gonna show you the products that I have. I'm gonna mix them well. I do have, but somebody gonna say something. And I, I, I'm gonna look for you if you say something. I got some gloves and I'm gonna put a little mask on. I could put one product down and come back and overlap that, but why do that when I can mix it together and let it do what it do, baby? Let it do what it do. So let's go ahead and get into this video. <laughs> if I can get up. Let me show you the weed killer first. This is what I bought last year. They had marked it down to $5. I think I bought three or four of them. If you're gonna do any kind of yard work, if I can do it, you can do it too. Here's the weed killer I was telling you about. This is the Eliminator, and that is the weed and grass killer. This stuff actually works really good. This is the Expert Gardener Weed and Feed. It kills your weed and not your lawn. And like I told y'all, anytime you buy anything for your yard, you always wanna get something that says money back guaranteed. This is also by Eliminator. It says for outdoor usage, fast acting and odor free. And it, it kills over 50 plus insects. Insects? Insects. Insects. I ain't doing that with you today, girl. Insects. Keep insects away for up to two months. I'm gonna take some of this and spread it around the base as well as mix it with this weed and feed to put on the yard. I will be using this old bucket that I have found in the garage to mix one part that with one part of that. I'm gonna use that spreader and I've had that spreader for about 20 years or more. I had another one, let somebody buy it, didn't get it back. This is how the yard is looking. No work, no flowers. I did buy some seeds, so we may be doing the seeds in here and just see what it do. This frog been sitting here for 20 years. Now, if you notice this tarp, you can see it somewhat. I only put it in a certain perimeter of space that I want it because when I get ready to trim those bushes, which I don't do the yard anymore, I pay somebody to do the yard. When he trimmed the bushes, it's just not sitting there. He can pull the pine, he can pull the pine straw back and blow that out and push it back against the bushes, the head. But I'm gonna go further out so you can see the grass. See, I have some ball spot jacked up, huh? This is the backyard, it is jacked up. Now, when it comes to the number, I don't give a damn about this number. You can use it and mark it as recommended, but I'm going for the Gusto. The Gusto. 17 and a half. Huh? Check to make sure it falls, and we're gonna walk. Boom! Hold on. It's not coming out. You gotta first get it going first. I got cobwebs. I got cobwebs. Some y'all know about them cobwebs. Ain't nothing coming out. Look. This still don't look like look. Look. Yeah, now. Look at it.
Yeah, most is being caught in that caught with at the bottom. Wheel. Leave that wheel there. That's your base. Flip it, turn it around, and we're gonna go again. I just finished doing the entire front and backyard. I overlapped it, so I did double. I want to say this: when you putting this stuff down on your grass, go in the opposite direction. If you cut horizontal, go vertical. If you go vertical against the grain, you will see where you you know place the chemical down through your weed feeder. I'm tired. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that uh, weed killer, go around the base of the house to ensure that all the weeds are killed because I'm gonna lay some pine straw down around the base of the house as well as in that bed over there. As I did last time. And I'm also going to put some more of this down. I'm gonna put it in the blue bucket and take these gloves that Deja made me put on and I'm just gonna spread it. I'm gonna put a little bit more down. But if it does not work, keep your bag and your receipts and put it in the garage somewhere. Or put it in a Ziploc bag of some sort. Just fold it up real good, put the receipt in, in the bag as well, and you call them and let them know, okay, it did not work. But give it a chance. Let's give it a chance and see what it's gonna do. Eliminated, you got it going on. That was the right name for this product, okay? All your products. Just trust the process. That's what I say. Love you beautiful people. Get outside, get, enjoy some of this fresh air. Ain't nobody around you, so you got your social distance. Ain't nobody outside of in the yard. See, I live in the suburbs, so I guess it's not as bad as in the city. I don't know. But I hope you have enjoyed the time we've shared together. I'll see you guys in two weeks. Until next time, be blessed. Bye, y'all.